Now that we've created our first Pro Tools session, let's take a look at the folder structure that's created with each new project that we make. In this Finder window, if you'll recall, I placed all of my Pro Tools sessions in this file called Pro Tools Sessions in my Documents folder. Here we see a folder with a date, the name, great name, and zero one. We made this in the video for starting a new session. When I create a new project, Pro Tools creates a new folder, and then it places all of its assets for that project within the folder. When I click on the folder, you'll see there's a name there, the year, month, day, great name 01.ptx. That's the Pro Tools session. That's the edit session when we're actually working with our project. There is no audio in that file at all. The file only contains all of our edit information, but none of the actual sound. All the audio that we import into the project goes into the audio files folder. All the files that we export from our Pro Tools session to give to other people, those are going to go into the balanced files folder. If we make any clip groups in Pro Tools, those are stored here. Backup sessions are stored here. And video files, if they're imported, are stored in the video files folder. When you're handing off a Pro Tools project to any other collaborator, or if you're backing up your Pro Tools project to another hard drive, or if you're transferring it from one computer to another, this entire folder has to be moved. You can't just take components from the folder and place them elsewhere and have a functioning Pro Tools project. So anytime you're moving a Pro Tools project, backing up a Pro Tools project, sharing or collaborating, you're always going to have to move the entire folder. Now the folders inside of the project folder are dynamically created and uncreated by Pro Tools. If I close this session, and there are any unused folders in this project, it will delete them. And you'll see that all of these folders are gone. So if you have a project that isn't completed or you're still working on it, and some folders aren't there, that's okay. You may have not used them yet. When I open up the session again, we'll see that Pro Tools automatically creates these folders again, waiting to be used. So that's the folder structure of a Pro Tools project. The key takeaway from this video is that the project folder itself is the entire Pro Tools project, and that is the folder that you always have to back up, move, or save.